Guys, since um, I am departing from this motherboard in, well, today actually, I gotta uninstall it tonight and then pack it up to send it um, because my other motherboard's coming like in a couple days. Um, I'm excited for that one. But uh, <clears throat> let me do a quick uh, set of bench, um, benchmarking of, you know, at stock and then probably push it to, well, I have the Wraith oh, Spiral Cooler, so I'm probably gonna try to push it to 3.7 at most just to be stable and not do anything above that since I am going to return this. I just wanted to see what the results are. So I'm going to flip to that screen. Excuse me, turn my camera just to show you the results. So right now let's run this test and let's see what pops up. So this is at um, 3.0 gigahertz uh, and this is my 1700. Also, that lighting effects. It's an orange. Oh, green. Oh, there it is. It finished. And we have a score of 1354. Okay, let me go ahead and um, go into the BIOS. Um, close this. Yes, I would like to save it. I was looking at how to overclock a bit. Um, doesn't seem too bad, so let's just go ahead and. Oops, that's not it. Restart this guy. Voltages. Hopefully, it'll. Let's go to this guy, this guy, we're going to switch to profile one, that's on auto, that's overclocking the RAM, um, actually, let's not overclock the RAM just yet, change this to 3.7. Bring him up. <laughs> three point seven. Oh, that's three point three point six for now. And then up the voltage just a bit. Let's do one point. but just in case because I am using the Wraith cooler Let's see if it boots up come on windows probably will though okay we're good there we go from before Run the CPU. There we go. Look at that difference. So right there we have the 1450 and a whole wow that's a big jump within this. Alright now I'm gonna see how much different it will be if I overclock the RAM. So let's save this. Yes I do. Let's see. <laughs> 
that's, that's not uh, memory settings. <coughs> XMP profile one. Okay, auto looks like we're good. And let's hit F10, save. It's apparently Ryzen loves RAM, so let's see how much the difference will be. If you guys know why it takes forever to load up, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> or if it lets me boot up. Hmm. It's just sitting there. Uh, let's see. Looks like it does not like the RAM to be overclocked. Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabyte RAM 26.6. So if I'm mistaken, I've, I've been pressing the right one, and I worked before because I tried to overclock the RAM and it messed up. If anyone knows in the comments below what's the difference between these two, feel free to comment. I'm an idiot when it comes to this. Please let me know. Did not like me overclocking the RAM. Um, so what I did was I powered this off and then I touched, guys again, your input's better than mine. Uh, not the first button on the right. I actually pressed the second one and then that cleared the CMOS from what I understand. <laughs> And then it reset everything. Let's see, MIT. Okay. Files. Okay. What frequency are we at? Oh, we're back at stock 3.00. Um, let me know again what I need to do to um, make sure it's all good. Um, I should probably do my own research, but once my new motherboard comes in, I'm probably going to not know much about this one anymore because I am switching to basically a different brand. I love you Gigabyte, but you messed with me on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit um, a video right now and that might be just of this video. Uh, again, I'm not too familiar with overclocking or anything. Uh, once I do get the new motherboard, I am gonna probably call their tech support and ask them for details and how to do this and just help in general just to understand everything it's pretty interesting i've never done this before i clocked overclocked my 6700k in the manual settings that uh the gigabyte motherboard provides but um yeah again i apologize for the terrible video I'm not gonna lie it was pretty bad i'm not very familiar with any of this um uh if you guys have input please I would like some comments down below to just tell me, you know, details, uh, any little tips you guys have, um, any forums that I can go to. Um, by the way, I guess I'll give it, um, give you a heads up. The new new motherboard that I'm switching to is an MSI motherboard. I'll show you which one when it comes in. But um, yeah, like I said, please send me any article, send me anything that you would definitely recommend uh, a lot of you guys out there are more knowledgeable than I am and I would like to learn so thanks for watching the video peace